Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to remove and clean the Central Electronic Module, or CEM for short, on a Volvo. The car I'm working with here today is a 2007 Volvo C30, and a similar procedure can also be found in the S40, V50, and C70 models. Dirty connections on the CEM can cause quite a few problems relating to the security system, ignition, gauges, wipers, power accessories, lighting, safety restraint system, a majority of electrical components in the car. For this car, my radio is experiencing an intermediate operation, especially on more humid days. This problem can pop up if you've had a plug sunroof in the past, left a window open during a rain, or water somehow managed to get inside the vehicle. Considering we are working with the main electronic component, disconnect the battery, Using a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and 3 inch extension, remove the negative terminal. Only the negative terminal needs to be removed. Now accessing the passenger side of the vehicle, the CEM is located under the dashboard. First, you'll need to remove the fabric cover, which has two plastic clips. These plastic clips are quite user friendly. Just push the center in with your finger, which will disconnect the clip. There will be two and once disconnected, you can remove the cover. To pop down the CEM, there will be two twist clips which need to be disconnected, then the panel can be dropped down. There will be various electrical connectors, both on the top and bottom which need to be disconnected. For the smaller rectangular connectors, they have a lever which needs to be pulled back. This will lift the connector out of its location and then it's disconnected. For the larger connectors, there are tangs on each side which needs to be depressed. They can be pulled back and will also lift out of their location. There will also be a couple black connectors that have tangs which needs to be depressed and they can be pulled straight out. Now you can pull back the module, it snaps into place on the pivot location, then push up the back side and pull back. There will be a similar style electrical connector on the bottom that needs to be disconnected. Once done, the module can then be removed. Here you will see there is corrosion on the one connection and it's also shown on the module too. This will need to be cleaned in order to restore its connection. Now for cleaning, we'll be using a contact cleaner, something which helps dissolve corrosion. First using a nylon brush to remove the loose debris, try to remove as much as possible while it's dry. Moving on to the contact cleaner, spray the area, allow it to soak, and then agitate using the brush again. The small brush is intended for electronics and is made of a nylon material similar to a toothbrush. Unfortunately the toothbrush can't be used as it's not small enough to fit in the tight spaces. Wash off the area again using more contact cleaner. Repeat if needed. With some contact cleaners, you may need to let it soak overnight to remove any serious corrosion. While the connections are free of corrosion, I'd still go over everything just to be safe. Using the same procedure, you can spray down the contacts, then agitate the surface using a brush if needed. Wash away the area again with contact cleaner. I should also mention, use a contact cleaner which is safe on plastics. Considering this is a plastic case, we don't want to damage it. I decided to remove both electrical components, I believe these are relays, to clean the connections and verify there is no corrosion. Depending on the contact cleaner, sometimes you may need to dry the area off using a cloth, other forms may evaporate quickly. You can also use compressed air, either from an air compressor or can of air. The contact cleaner can pool up inside the module, so tilt it around to help the cleaner drain out. Now moving back to the car, I have laid out a shop coat to prevent any overspray from the contact cleaner. It's probably a good idea to have a rag handy too. Remove any loose debris, this time I can use a toothbrush. Then spray the connector using the contact cleaner and agitate the area using a toothbrush. Just like before, this may take a couple attempts and, if severe, you may need to let it soak overnight. This particular contact cleaner I have does dry very slowly to promote cleaning action. Wash away any debris and allow it to dry. Move on to the other connections. Again, I didn't notice any corrosion, but it's best to be safe. 
I gave the module a couple hours to dry and now I'll be using an electronic terminal protectant which also helps promote connectivity. It comes in a little bottle which has a brush on the lid. Just apply a light amount to each of the male terminals. I won't bother applying it to the connections inside the car as it should move between the two connections once everything has been plugged in. You just need a light amount on the surface, dip the brush in more solution when needed and make sure the connection is covered. Reconnect the module, make sure the disconnection clips are out of their location before pushing them into place. You may need to work between pushing the connector down while operating the lever to help assist the connections into place. Take your time, do not force them. Each connector has its own shape which is specific to their location on the module so you can't mix them up. Clip the module back into its location. This can be a little tough after the wires have been connected. Take your time, don't force anything and make sure the wires are clearing the framework under the dashboard. The pivot locations will need to be pushed back into the bracket. I left the car sit overnight just to be safe so the cleaner's residue has a chance to dry out or evaporate. Reconnect the battery and everything should be fixed. If the issue persists, you may need to recheck the connections. They may not be seated properly, you may have loose wires, or they need to be recleaned. Push the module back up and screw in the retaining fasteners. For the fabric cover, the center connectors need to be pushed out so they're disengaged. Push the clips back into place, then push the centers so they're locked into place. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, also be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.